In America, we treat education as the great equalizer for achieving the American dream. But the sad fact is that not all children get a fair shot at that dream. These children are 50% more likely to be placed in a special education classroom, 25% more likely to drop out of school, 40% more likely to become a teen parent, and 70% more likely to be arrested for a violent crime. Educare, a network of over 17 schools replicated across the nation, is based on research and its practices are aimed at preventing the achievement gap. Bringing the National Model Program to Arizona, Educare Arizona's mission is to ensure vulnerable young children and their families are successful in school and life by acting as a voice for early childhood policy and practice. Educare is a very high quality birth to five program designed to close the achievement gap that doesn't just suddenly appear at kindergarten, it actually starts as early as 18 months. Educare Arizona is an extraordinarily effective early learning model. The program develops cognitive, social, emotional, physical, and language skills. Skills needed to be in place for children to be successful in school and in life. The children who've had more than two years of Educare um, are doing as they should in both reading and math and there's fewer placements in special ed and less remediation and retention. What we've seen from Educare is students are coming into our kindergarten programs prepared and they have a fighting chance and an equal opportunity to be successful uh, with students that are not living in poverty. Skilled teachers are taught to follow the children's needs. The day is extended and the year is longer. Ratios are kept intentionally low, with a bachelor's level teacher leading each classroom and with master level teachers overseeing every four classrooms. It's not your typical classroom because there are no chairs and desks in here, <laughs> but it is a place where children can come in and explore and they're just learning through play and we're just following what they want to do. Strong support for families is also a focus of the Educare model, recognizing that parents are the children's first teacher. We don't just invite them to a parent-teacher conference once or twice a year, but we invite them to come into the school and to use this as a place and a resource for them too. They really do a really great job at help teaching parents um, how to interact with the children. We always know we're good parents, but there's always things we can do better. And even by the way that we read a book, it's not the same as we used to do it now. We know we interact with the kids, it's not just read you learn how to make that little experience something more meaningful for both of us and they enjoy that and they look forward to it all the time. When we designed our building, we really wanted to do the best we could for our students. If you've seen our courtyard, structured play, art, music, movement is all important for, kids, uh, for our children's background. If you look into the classrooms, you'll see a lot of sunlight, a lot of uh, windows that go out into either the courtyard or out into the play areas. It's designed to be the best opportunity and to see the best results. Educare is designed to build a smooth transition for children by connecting early learning educators with elementary teachers and engaging parents in understanding their children's development. It makes me feel really good that Alan has flourished with Educare. I don't feel nervous dropping him off in the morning. I feel happy, I know he's safe, I know he's happy, and I know it's gonna benefit him. The Educare in Arizona was driven by community interest in having an Educare here. It's driven by a provider at Southwest Human Development that's always seeking to get better. It was driven by philanthropists, John Whiteman, the IBIS Foundation, Steve Nash Foundation. And then the third is the public schools because what we are trying to say is that learning doesn't start at age five or three, it actually starts at birth. Educare Arizona also partners with Scottsdale Healthcare and NOAA, Neighborhood Outreach Access to Health, to provide the medical, dental, and behavioral health services at Educare Arizona's on-site health clinic for the children and families served, as well as the surrounding communities. The list goes on and on of dedicated individuals and groups that believe in the mission of Educare and are supporting us in so many different ways. We're very grateful for those partnerships. 
Educare was never designed just to serve the 150 or 200 children that are attending the school on an everyday basis. It was also to serve as a platform for change, both in practice as well as in policy. For policy makers to have a place where they can go see what quality looks like. When they can see it happening in the classroom and when people can talk about what is going on in the classroom, they begin to get and understand the importance of the early years. The other thing we do is use this as a platform for practice change, and we do that by opening up the doors to the rest of the early childhood community and being a resource to them around professional development. It also means that things that we're learning work, we try and publish that and share that with the broader early childhood community. Educare is about changing the face of education, moving children and families to successful outcomes in school and in life. When I see a child who maybe has come in with concerns and I get to watch them over a period of time, I get to see their development and see them succeed. It makes me confident in what I'm doing and know that I'm in the right place and I'm doing the right thing. My son has changed a lot with Educare. He is more open, more social. He is definitely ready for kindergarten, and he's just really happy, loves the facility, loves his teachers. One of the things that we have learned by building a state-of-the-art early childhood facility is that it's a very powerful statement to the families in this community that we value their children that we consider them important enough to have a beautiful place like this to go to every day. So it is more than a place of learning, it's a pretty powerful message to the broader community about this work.